what kind of quality do you think you need right now, the best? <laughs> a strong mind. I'm learning that I'm very grateful the fact that meeting seven different people to share their emotion, sadness, happiness, so we can live as one, and love each other in some capacity. That's it. <laughs> Transforming into Stormy. Should I do tattoos? That's a good idea. We arrived to the theater and we're backstage, stressing about our outfits and making sure everything looked good. You should get for this one. This says her. Very awkward to the dentist. Very awkward. <laughs> we're all gonna be performing our skits for our fellow housemates and portraying them. Actors should be like the least nervous in that circumstance, but with me playing Dennis, it just made me more nervous. <laughs> Hola. Hi. Welcome to the Surreal Theater. My name is Ari. I will be your hostess. So we are ready and show time. Here we go. Hell yeah. My heart is pounding. But I'm really excited because I know we're going to take this very seriously. Like this is the Grammys or WrestleMania. The first couple for the performance is going to be Dennis and August. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Let's try it. <clears throat> My name is Dennis Rodman. I'm playing Manny. Work. I'm August Alcina, and I'm playing Frankie. There's a couple things that needs to happen in order for me to play Frankie. I don't know who's he. Oh. oh okay. There we go. Okay. And then I'll shrink a little. Oh, no. <laughs> It's in my butt. <laughs> Action. <laughs> Gotta get the character, right? right? Yes, feel the fantasy, feel the fantasy. Oh. 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 This bitch with the waddle. Does <laughs> my milkshake bring the boys back to the yard? I guess that thing might be thinging just a little bit. Is it all natural? Honey, <clears throat> let me do it again. Does my milkshake bring it back? I'll be oh boy. Hey. Action. Does my milkshake bring the boys back to the yard? Is it all natural? Honey, it's all about the B B B B B V B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B that's all you gotta say. Honey, it's the BBL for me, but it's all mine still. <laughs> it's working for you, though. I, it's, it's working for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, there you go. See <laughs> Next up is Tamar and CJ. Oh, no. I'm so scared. It's a nerve-wracking experience to know that people have been watching you and they're about to imitate you. So I don't know what to expect. I'm Tamar, and I will be playing Kim. And I am playing Stormy. <laughs> Did you see the news? Of course, AJ told me all about the news. <laughs> well, there were these three hot brothers that happened to be pigs. Then a big wolf came with a big dick. So big that I, I haven't even seen a dick that big before. Well, I have seen a wolf with a dong dong that big before. His name was Dennis. <laughs> I didn't really see it that clearly because it was dark. Whew. You know what's even more strange is that I can't find Susan anywhere. Oh no. I think she did something. <laughs> I know where Susan is. She ate the pigs. Scene. <laughs> Next couple on stage, Manny and Stormy. I'm Manny and I'm playing August. I'm Stormy and I'm playing CJ. So before I got here, I had some spirit guides. You know, I had a couple readings. They told me, you know what, August? <laughs> you're gonna meet seven beautiful souls and they're gonna change you. And they've experienced all this shit while you've experienced all this shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? 
No. Should we make a TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> we should make a TikTok. We should totally make a TikTok. TikToks are so fun. I can help you make a TikTok. I can do it for you. We can make a TikTok. Let's make a TikTok. If you want to make a TikTok, you make a TikTok because you want to make a TikTok. Not because August wants to make a TikTok. You got to live your own life. In wrestling, yeah. we're not allowed to live our lives. Well, this isn't wrestling. This is the surreal life. <laughs> Go backstage. Okay, here we go. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm gonna beat your ass, I'm gonna beat your ass. This would be classic. <laughs> What's up? That's the first day, right? Yes, it was. Oh. The way that they look right now has me in tears cackling. I cannot do this right now. So, I was at this bar. This chick comes up to me, she's like, I want to you. <laughs> I was like, OK. I mean, right. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so I did. Next thing I know, there's a knock on the door. It's her husband. Why not? Love is good. Love is style. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Oh, Lord. <laughs> papa, what are you talking about, Papa? Why do you keep calling me that? <laughs> because you're my Papa. <laughs> this <laughs> guy. <laughs> Guys. That, was, that was kind of funny. Maybe I'll let you call me daddy. Take you on a trip, we can go to Ibiza, private plane to Monte Carlo. You want to go to Greece? I don't have a passport, but we can go to Greece. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can be my next future ex-wife. I don't know, Pop Pop. I'm looking for my divine. You know, tall and strong, and he Christian. He got his own teeth, and got brown eyes, and nice dark hair, and he's real strong. And he got all that girth. Girth. <laughs> <laughs> it's a girth. <laughs> Tonight we have special activities only for you. I will give you this access card. Okay. Oh my gosh. Pulling up to an amusement park that was closed out specifically for us to kind of wild out and just do whatever we wanted to do. I thought that was one of the dopest gifts that a person could ever receive. So I'm just thankful. Take your lion and have fun. Oh, try oh, 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 oh my God. We're in for the joyful night of our dream. Oh, oh, wait, I'm dead, dude. Y'all, the teddy bear is a car. Oh, it's going. It's <laughs> like a little motorcycle teddy bear. Listen. <laughs> Dennis with his seven foot tall ass. His knees is bigger than the whole thing. What do you do for fame, right? <laughs> Come on, guys, games, y'all. I'm so happy to see everyone's in a great mood. Yeah, we did get you, baby! Yeah! Oh, I'm over it. Oh, my God! It felt like we were like brothers and sisters kind of getting together and playing games. He's 1,000 of our yes. I think this is the perfect way to go out. Let me tell you, it's like heartwarming, and it just reminds us of all the obstacles that we went through to get to this moment right here. <laughs> Oh, you laughed at me. Oh. I want to try. Go ahead. Go ahead, pretty boy. Wow. <laughs> don't let the eyelashes fool you. Baby, don't let the lashes fool you, mama. Lenny might beat your ass. These bitches be underestimating me. Come on. This is tight on me. You know, it's tight. You see that? Oh, <laughs> That's the wrestler. All right. Can I grab with you? So cute. It was midnight and I'm on a carousel in Mexico City with Malcolm in the middle and a little person dressed as a blue monkey. Either I'm having the most up acid trip or this is the surreal life. Y'all gonna speed this up at any point? No. I genuinely forgot 
what it's like to just release and have fun. It's going to be all right. <laughs> it was just a real beautiful thing to allow myself to become one with the environment that I'm in. And treat life in the same way that you would as you are, like, on one huge roller coaster ride. It's like, every time we get on the roller coaster, we don't know if we're going to make it off that mother a lot, but because I see videos of people who fall off roller coasters and die. <laughs> it's me and Storm. <laughs> it's like a kid's dream come true, except I just did it with grown kids. So I'm currently in my pants. I don't even like roller coasters. It was just so much fun. I, I, I lost my voice. It was just, it was amazing. This is our big moment. Of what? I don't know. We don't even know. Let's, okay, go. let's go. I ain't first. with this beautiful oasis of love and light, and I could just tell something special was about to happen. My name is Solga. Solga. I'm a, I'm a Solga. healer. I'm of course a you love are. priestess. Oh, of course. A love, love priestess. priestess. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. for me. <laughs> we are going to prepare a love potion. You got the strong substance? I got everything. Yes. It can be romantic love. It can be with friends, any kind of relationship that you want to empower. So, who's gonna come first? Ah! <laughs> My mama gonna kill me because this is witchcraft. <laughs> Tell me, what kind of love potion do you need? Oh, I need the strong, romantical love. Take a hibiscus leaf. This is for passion. This is roses for romantic and honest and deep love. What else do you want in this? Girth. <laughs> See, I'm not the worst one here. <laughs> so you're gonna drink the whole thing. We doing spells. Oh, Lord Jesus, I'm still going to heaven. I'm still going to heaven. Nice. Tastes delicious to me. I'm gonna go. So what kind of relationship do you want to attract to yourself? Um. I set my intentions for a child. I love that. I've been trying to get pregnant for about a year now. Just shake it with all your intention. But I feel that my mind was still really focused on wrestling. Now I really want to put this energy of getting pregnant forward. I want a first love. It's a good love. Do I really think drinking this flower water is going to get me a man? Maybe not. Yep, great. <laughs> but honestly, I'll do anything I can to not be single anymore. She gotta do what she gotta do. So, what kind of love do you want to work with? Be a better listener. I have romantic love, so I wouldn't mind enriching that even more. What do you want to work? Love coming back. So, I need bay leaves, I need rose petals and lemongrass, and do you have lavender? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you know your spells, right? I'm not really sure what's gonna happen with We'll see if the potion works. Jury's still out. I would like a love that feels limitless and a path to higher consciousness with each other. That sounds nice. I want this potion to help me be as authentic as possible because I want to be in a positive, healthy relationship that it's like, I really want to do this because I, I really, really love you and just can't see life without you. What kind of quality do you think you need right now, the best? Hmm. It's all mine. I'm learning that I'm very grateful for the fact that meeting seven different people to share their emotion, sadness, happiness, so we can live as one and love each other in some capacity. That's it. I'm so used to life. I love people. 
I love people. And that's why I was telling people can't break me down anymore. But I'm fine now. I'm cool. I built this monster. I'm ready to go. That's awesome. I feel like this could not have come at a better time. It really does feel like this almost like therapeutic thing that we're all going through together as a house. A little chakra opening. Imagine our little chakra holes like this right now. Okay, now we're like this. I'm gonna ask you to make a big sound to close this moment with magic and, you know, with an explosion of energy. For real, I'm afraid. Oh no. I'm scared. I'm, I'm afraid, for real, in real life. Confession time. I'm afraid of horses. Okay, I'm afraid of horses, dogs, cat, caterpillars, snakes, birds. Oh, oh. I'm jumping on your back. Mushrooms, all of that. I'm afraid of anything that I can't touch. All right? <laughs> I don't like riding horses. So, welcome, guys. We are going to be doing yoga on a horse. Oh my God. <laughs> I want the coolest, slowest horse you got. And how do I get on here? <laughs> oh my word. I need her on construction. Anything Versace, I'm here for it. I kind of looked around and I was like, well, all of my fellow roommates are being a part of this experience. All right. I came here to be a part of this experience. I'm not going to let fear stop me. What do we got? Okay. Oh. Tengo un poco de miedo. Are you hiding back there? <laughs> you can do it, Kimmy. I did it, you can do it. Come on, breathe. Surrender. I will I will come over there. Yeah, underlay. I have to lift off. I'm gonna kick him in the face. Surrender. How to do it? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm an equestrian. I've ridden and competed horses for over 20 years. Luckily, this place had really special horses. I don't know of any other group of horses that would have not freaked the f out at Dennis Rodman. He's already huge. I'm just a natural out here. Look at this guy. I've been riding horses since I was 21 when I lived on the farm in Oklahoma. Really? Yep. Yeah. Come from the ghetto, man, go to the country. I mean, that's a shock, but I got used to it. So I thought it was gonna burn after this. I got on the most amazing, oldest, slowest horse that Mexico has, baby. <laughs> Navajo, he just got, you know, emotion in his eyes, and he turned back to look at you every now and then, like, to see how you're enjoying the experience, man. It's a, like a form of mm, making love, love making. Oh, yeah. And coming all the way down, we'll come through to center. The connection between you and the horse, you learn limitations, and you learn boundaries without, it's like a silent form of communication. Normally, we do yeah. this yoga, Back. Without clothes? No, like no saddle. No saddle. <laughs> Woo, my mind is somewhere. <laughs> now grab the horn, lift up, and try to get on your knees. Oh. No, thank you. We're good. Yeah, We're no. Good. We're good. Thank yeah, you. We did. That was that was fun. Isn't that amazing? Amazing. Look at what God can do. Look what God. Look at what she can do, and I ain't doing. I'm six foot eight black, got 240 pounds. This horse has never seen me. <laughs> Imagine me trying to get on top of a damn horse and he ain't gonna freak out. Uh, that's no way. Breathing in all the way up. Oh my God. Oh. Fearless. Now, when you're on a horse like this or that, it's simple. When you have trust. She's like, all right, well, guys, you can just stand on him. And my horse, Navajo, he's dope, man. He actually turned around. Like, Your horse said what my horse said. And he was like, Joker. Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna respect your boundaries, brother. Oh, CJ, this is nothing for you. Go ahead. 
This is like just being on the ropes. I still get nervous on the third rope. I can appreciate that you can stand on the back of a horse, you sickening bitch. All right, guys, vamos. Welcome to the Azulgrana Stadium. My name is Fernanda. I'm a professional freestyler, so I'm going to introduce you to the professional team. I'm ready for the fine, delicious Latino men that I'm anticipating. So when my divine comes into play, he thinks, oh. This game is gonna be celebrities versus the kids. Wait, kids? Kids. Oh my oh. god. It's professional soccer kids? Yeah, they're professional. That's a thing? I feel bad that I'm like so competitive now. Oh god. They're all stars. Before we start, we have a little surprise for you guys. So uh -oh. could you oh. please, kids? Bring them over. Oh, oh my man. God. I'm so dead. <laughs> so we're gonna play soccer bubble. Okay. How are you doing it? <laughs> like this, you can't am go I in. Rolling? I am definitely in tune with my inner child. I feel like I'm in sixth grade. Can you imagine my boobs? And they'd have to oil it to get me in and out. <laughs> when I tell you the claustrophobia, I felt like I was in a sphincter. I'm too big. All right, guys. The ones who lose this, you are going to dump a bucket of water. What? Okay, breathe, bitch. Are you ready to fight? I'm ready to fight. The real life on three. Yeah. One, two, three. It's the real life. That was awful. Be careful with the kids. I'm feeling pretty. I want to run over people, but you can barely move. You can barely kick your leg. You're like stuck. I don't know how to play. Well, the idea is to put it in the net. Right, that. Pretty right. much anything goes. Let's go. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh boy, here we go. It's gotta be so hot in there. Do you need a break? It's okay. I think that you do. Half time? Yep. Oh, wonderful. Pressure. I'm too old for this. Oh, this is wonderful. It's wonderful. We have to win. My competitive nature is actually at an all time high right now. I'm like, we gotta beat these kids. We gotta beat these kids because it's not happening. Listen, the only thing that we have on our side is strength. So you bust them as hard as you can. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, good. I'm not the only one who wants to win. We should hurt the kids. Yeah. I feel bad. I definitely want to run to Life is surreal. Time. You're going to get hurt. <laughs> Bust the <laughs> Gotcha. Knock him down. Let's go. that there was a ball involved in this game. He just wanted to plow through people. Ah! Are you hesitant to knock down these kids? Nope, 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 nope. I'm not hesitant at all. I have nieces and nephews and I will bust their ass while we play the game. It's all fair game.
45 meters high. Are you ready for this experience? I get butterflies, but it's excitement. If you're afraid of heights, you should not be doing this because you're gonna have a panic attack the entire time. What if I gotta pee when I'm up there? Just whip it out. <laughs> I'm gonna sit this out because I have to pee every 10 minutes. So because of that, I'ma just lay back and live through y'all through this experience. Do what you gotta do, man. Stress flare up, my hemorrhoids, my ass bleed, and it's like, that's a lot, my G. The view is beautiful. A little quick, little. Uh, uh, uh. You okay, man? The wind's blowing, and you're starting to do. Uh, uh, and there's creaks happening. I'm literally like the most proper I've ever been. I said I will not be moving this chair. I'm petrified. You know I'm scared, and nobody is sitting next to me. Hey. I got this one over here. Come on. Oh. Can I move? Uh, no, you can't move. Uh, Jesus on the main line. Italian risotto and salmon with truffle oil. Everything. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Hey Stormy, I know you're a psychic, right? Yeah. Do you see marriage in my future? Am I gonna make my divine soon? I feel like that's a yes, but I need my cards to verify. We need to do a reading night. I'll do you. That's what I say a lot, actually. <laughs> but I know there's nothing in the world more than you want than to have someone love you fiercely, and he's coming. Oh, thank you. And I hope he has a big <laughs> girl. Sorry. And stamina. <laughs> I mean, the truth of the matter is, I'll do whatever it takes for my man to come and knock on my door. Hey, I won't be ready for my divine. <laughs> I was able to have dinner with like a homeless dog. That's the greatest offering you could ever give to anybody. It's like share your food. I'm looking into the dog's eyes and I can see they soul looking back at me and experiencing me and I'm experiencing the dog and it was just like just Dope to feel a pure essence from somebody or something from the dog during, you know, this crazy, like, surreal and whimsical experience. Mm. Oh, we're turning, we're turning. Oh my God. Hey guys. Uh, yes. We got a text message. We got a text message. Like this is a brunch. To celebrate the occasion, tell each other your favorite moment so far of the person to your left. CJ. I don't have a really weird. No, I mean, definitely one of my favorite moments uh, so far with CJ was being in the wrestling ring. My little Tina, and he's going to destroy you with your balls. She's always fun and uh, been cool to get to know her. Thank you. I agree. I have so much to say about my roommate. I will give one favorite moment, and it would be that you're here right now because oh. I know that it's scary and the fact that you're facing your fears and you're so brave to be here. And, and thank you. Thank you. For like, for real, for real, for real. I agree. I agree. I'm going to speak this is Stormy, and I'm actually grateful that I get to, a chance to get to know you. You are an amazing woman outside of the things that scared the out of me about you. <laughs> and I'm just really grateful that I got this opportunity. I agree. My first impression of Tamar was that we are never going to get along. But I was pleasantly surprised and actually a little chokes up. I really think that she meant it. It felt good, for sure. True confessions. Oh. All right. Well, let's play that dumbass game. Ooh, OK. Oh, boy. OK, here we go. Adventure. Hey, my teammate my wife. Guess what? I have to play with his ass. What the hell? That's some real I had to go play a game that night with the same that's my wife. Really? Let's go there. Love it. 
True confessions. Wanna go deep? Let's go deep, baby. That's easy for me. My teammate or my team my wife up weak. And guess what? I didn't know that unless I went to this goddamn house. And she's not in the house with, with like lingerie. And then I had to go play a game that night. That's some real And still win a championship ring. Really? With the same that's my wife. I see your pain. And that's really that that happened to you. And I'm sorry that 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 to you. It's history. It's history. No, it's not. It's not just history. Let me tell you why. Because it's, it's a very hurtful, traumatic moment th that in your life has scarred you yes. and that has stopped you from looking at another situation where you can fully trust somebody. How can you? How could you? I know I wouldn't be able to. Dennis, I now see and feel your trauma your pain, your hurt. I'm just hoping for a little admission that help would be a good idea to go and get. Have you ever gotten help for that trauma? No. Would, you haven't? Would no. you ever? No. Why not? Uh, that don't work. Yes, it does. How about Dr. Drew? He lives uh, down the street from me. I love Dr. Drew, but I'm talking about the real world. <laughs> OK. This doesn't take away from the pain and things that has happened. I don't like her. It doesn't break it. You's a lie. Thank you. Dennis will be vulnerable. And in that moment, his way of fixing it is to almost attack. And I feel like Dennis actually crosses the line with his words. Especially being strapped in 300 feet above the ground where you can't just roll out, you can't just say, hey, I have to go to the bathroom, I'm gonna go to the kitchen to get away from it, definitely makes the entire table very tense. You know what I see? I see somebody with a huge heart who has the capability of really truly to be loved and who deserves it back. And I'm sorry somebody that up for you. I wish I could bust homeboy in the forehead for having sex with your wife. I wish I could trip him and put Legos all over his bedroom floor and turn on all the lights. <laughs> I wish I could do that, because that's really foul. Yeah, he deserves to step on a 1,000 Legos for that. You ever step on Lego? You know, some days, uh, I try to okay. off, and it worked too well. Huh? See how random he is? Where did he go just now? That's the name of his show. Tonight on How Did We Get There? Let's talk to Mr. Dennis Rodman. What's happening, darling? How did we get there? <laughs> no, everything's so random. Spell so random backwards, Rodman. Hey y'all, it's your boy Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to the VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch your number two.